I think this is going to be a rat house from hell. Look at all this. In fact, should we go and have a look around the back before we go in? <laughs> wow, oh, look at all the rat holes here, look. You know what? Let's lift this up. Let's lift this up. <laughs> look at that. That big hole there. Let's drop that back down. Look at this here. Oh, this is going to... Uh, this is going to take some work, this is. This is going to take some work. What else we got around here? Well, this drainage looks interesting. And there's another rat hole there. Look, you can tell how clean it is going in there. Well, when you see plumbing of this kind of standard... <laughs> wow. Look, it's literally all collapsing. Look, these are all rat holes. And straight down, look. All this, this has collapsed. Why has it collapsed? I think I know why it's collapsed. Because there's a collapsed drain somewhere and the rats are getting out of it. But I think there might be multiple well, collapsed drains. You that, I've noticed there's actually a drain pipe there, look. Can you actually see it in there? There's a drain pipe there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And rats don't come from the sewers. No, rats don't come from the sewers. <laughs> well, you see, that's the fallacy, isn't it? People believe that this is causing the rats in this these two flats here, and it's not. It's, it's not this. It's not helping matters. It's not helping matters. But these rats, they're not coming from here. They're probably coming out of there, out straight out of the sewer and feeding off this. But yeah come on let's get inside let's get inside <laughs> oh this is some junk mail kid oh first time lucky <laughs> let's see how lucky we are i can smell it from here man I smell something and smell dirty people is what i can smell Oh, stinks. Oh my gosh. Oh, sweaty feet, man. Sweaty feet, cigarettes. Oh, oh, <laughs> Come on, man up, dude, man up. That is disgusting. That's a disgusting smell, isn't it? Well, that goes nowhere. That's interesting. That's safe. I'm open, yeah, man. let's get some air in here, man. Oh, you are so lucky we don't have smell of vision. It literally smells like a tramp sock. Yeah. Living in a tramp sock. Does any electrics work? Oh. That's in this lovely bathroom. Ooh. Ooh, dry toilet. Oh, and there's a classic look. Our old friend, our old friend, expanding foam because. Of course, this, this is going to stop a rat, isn't it? Come on, think it through, think it through. They love to chew. Here's a rat hole. You can see all the, see all the little teeth marks on the edges of that. There's people living in here. Yeah. I might put a camera actually on that. Um, it smells so bad. <laughs> it smells cheesy. Everything smells cheesy in here. I feel like one's going to run out at any moment, I really do. Oh, we've got mouse droppings. They've probably got like mice and rats. They might be, might well be. Yeah, they're mouse droppings, aren't they? <laughs> I don't think they're bat droppings. No, a bat would die if it come in here. But if you want to know the difference between a mouse dropping and a bat dropping, watch yourself here, you don't want to be sitting on that sofa, Rick. Um, we've got a little video about that. So have a look through our videos. If you need to know the difference between a bat dropping and a rat dropping and a mouse dropping. Check it out. Look. <laughs> I might actually need to put one of them on in here. <laughs> Good quality building, isn't it? This. So we've got Is one. Flat yes, next in door. What's in here? This might be the pristine one. It's like a prison cell. It's reminding me a bit of a uh, train spot in this room. This, this, <laughs> this place. Train spotting, man. <laughs> right, let's see which. So that's the key for that one. 
Oh, there's another rat hole right there, look. No way. Look at the smear marks on wow. that. It's better with that, just that light off that, Honestly, isn't it? how you can live leaving the, the, the amount That's of rats gas that thingy, come, isn't it, that? The amount of rats that have come through that to cause that to look like that is a lot of rats. Yeah, so when you hear us talking about smear marks, smear marks exactly. is this here, this black. And that's where the rats have been coming through there on numerous occasions. Well, how many numerous occasions must it have been? You know, it's, uh, they've chewed away all this here. They've come through the floorboard, look. That's amazing. And, and smear marks, basically, rats have a, a dark waxy coating that waterproofs them, but it also carries pheromones which are chemical smells, and each rat's got a slightly different one, almost like it's leaving its business card. And the more it builds off, the more it tells the rats in the sewer, or outside, as we know, it's not really from outside. The rats in the sewer, it tells them that loads of rats have been here. The more rats have been here, the safer it must be for them. It's not gonna be safe for much longer. Here goes then, apartment two. This could be the penthouse suite. Hmm. What have we got in here? Well, so should we start from well, down this end? <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a more expanding foam. This one smells like cigarettes. Yeah, it's quite pleasant compared to the last one we was in. Again, you see rats, they love to chew this. They love to chew it. It's nice on their teeth. And how long's a rat going? And it's not even been done right. It's not even filled the gap, look. Crazy. Common sense yeah. ain't so common, is it? Shall we be back, Rick? Okay, oh, expanding foam again. You gotta love the expanding foam, haven't you? There's a rat there. What? Dead, dead <laughs> it's certainly rat. dead. Yeah, you don't get much deader than that. Ah, oh, look at it round on this side. You can see all the footprints and the oh. scratch marks. All the smear marks there. And again, the good old expanding foam. Let's have a look what's under here, Rick. Oh, Christ. Ah, look, look, there's the proof. Expanding foam, right? And there's the rats. They've been chewing that bit, look. And there's all the bits they've chewed off. And they haven't chewed that because they want to get out of there. They know where the root is along that pipe there, right? But they've been chewing that just because they like chewing it. The look at the... Marks of the, the... Ah, yeah, yeah, look. See all the little scratch marks that they've been climbing up on the side of that. You'd have to love to have a nice relaxing bath in there. Look at the smear marks on that pipe. Can you get there? Get yeah, there? have a look, man. That's grotesque. Have a look in there. Look in the pipes. So that pipe there, once upon a time, was... That was grey. That was grey. That corner bit's white, mate, I think. Look at that yeah. bottle there. The bottle's got smear marks all over it. Jeez. That's terrible. <laughs> smear, that, that is years and years and years and years of rats of the rats going over the exactly the same place oh look at this here yeah they're squeezing them running over that and you know what it's like it's like a miracle that they haven't chewed through one of them plastic pipes because plastic pipes is nothing for a rat yeah. uh, and then they would have had a massive flood on top of everything That's else one dead one there's gonna be a load more soon what we got in here let's have a look the rats have been chewing up the new carpets It's like, yeah. Why would you fit a new carpet? Think it through, man. Well, they've fitted a new carpet and there's expanding foam on the new carpet. Like, yeah. Don't people <laughs> to, to stop the rats. Absolute mindless, isn't it? Absolute mindless. I mean, I wonder why that's there like that. Oh. Well, oh, this has so worked well. That's why there's a dead rat then. That's been that there. Oh, no. It's that uh, beetles have got in that. Look. Yeah, you're right. Right. So the next thing that's going to come out of this is going to be stored product beetles. And there's one right there, look, see it in the, in the dust? That's a stored product beetle. So that's been left there for months, obviously a good quality bit of kit, eh? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I'm gonna let you into a little secret here, Ricky. I've had some information that the people, the tenants here, did try traps at one point. Their problem was the rats just wouldn't go near the traps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay a load of traps we're going to bait them, but we're not going to set them. And we're going to use black cat rat traps. You know, they're one of our favourites. 
and we're going to leave them here for a few days so the rats get nice and confident and they take the bait off the spike and then we're going to come back and we're going to set them. Boom! <laughs> okay, and there it is. Mouse and rat killer plus. Kills in a single dose. Wow. And all them bags of poison. And now you see the crazy thing is all them bags of poison have been eaten by rats. Other than that one that we just found, that baby rat. They've all gone back outside or back into the sewers where other animals are going to eat them. Foxes, birds of prey, owls. There's no need to use rodenticides or poisons for a, for a better, not a better word, a worse word, but you know what I'm talking about then. We only use poison as a last resort, a last resort. So come on, let's um, put some fake traps down for them and let's get the confidence of these rats up and let's see how many we can catch. Let's see how we're going to trick these tricky rats. <laughs> oh yes, so I've got a trail cam set up. Okay, that's going to be monitoring what goes on and we'll have a look at that footage next week. And if you look here, we can see this bright pink stuff, that's called tracking dust. It's non-toxic, we've got the traps unset, but they're baited. And that's going to give the rats the encouragement to think, ah, this is okay, a free evening meal, or morning meal, whenever they want to eat. Let's look at the next rat hole that we found. So again here, where those smear marks were, we've got tracking dust down in the hole, there's a few free offerings down there, we've got the oats, We've got our old favourite, the black cat rat traps, and they're unset, because we're going to trick these tricky rats. Let's get these ones. For a bit of added fun, I'm going to use yellow in this one. So we've got pink tracking dust in that part of the luxury apartment block. And what we're going to use in here is yellow. And we'll see multiple trails, I dare say. Who knows what we'll see? We don't know ourselves until next week. But you should hit the notifications bell and maybe have a subscribe. Because then you'll see what we see. Oh, this is going to be lovely in here. So this is that lovely, lovely bath. I'm going to put a couple of traps in here. And we're going to use this yellow fluorescent dye in this one. And I reckon it's going to look like a 1980s nightclub in here by the time we finish, Rick. 